Yay, look what I did. Complete. So, now I have my six water bottles over here. I'm going to see actually how many truly fit in here. Number one. Number two. Number three. Four. Five. So I wonder if the sixth one. Whoa! That's the first time I spilled the whole time. And y'all were there to witness it. I wonder if the sixth one will actually fit all the way. I'm hoping it will. Ah! Yes! So six full water bottles fit in here. The experiment is complete. So right now I'm just filling up my gallon of water. I've been trying to drink half of a gallon a day. And we have quite a few water bottles. All these are new, but um, literally I just fill this up. Um, I like to, I'm kind of blurry, I'm sorry. I like to um, fill these up with our fridge water as well, so. Don't worry. So I'm just doing that. And then I have all this Optavia on the counter and I've been like trying to wonder what to do with it. I gave over half of it to Hannah and Rafe. So we're at a good start when it comes to clearing that out because I, no one else, I <laughs> am tired of it being on the counter. I know a lot of people are like, you're taking up the whole counter space. First of all, it's a tiny counter space over here. And we have all of this. Our counter is huge. We are blessed with a mighty big kitchen. I mean, it's not like the biggest in the world, but it's definitely big. So yeah, I'm proud of myself. I went through a phase where I literally wasn't drinking like any water at all. I'll finish filling that up in a minute. Water mukbang. <laughs> it's supposed to be spaghetti with meatballs. This is how it looks and it was absolutely disgusting. So I'm having to throw that away. It did come with four meatballs, which I was able to eat those. I'm just like appalled right now because I feel like it was like a waste of money, but I don't feel like having, I don't want Becky to have to like go back out and have to like go get me a new meal because I know like if you call and be like, it didn't turn out right, then they'll probably like give you another meal. But this is going in the trash. Hey okay, guys, so I'm about to do something sad, but um, I think it's about that time, so let's do it. We have a garbage bag. You guys ready for it? Yasso poppables, mochi ice creams, blueberry, strawberry, some Halo Top situation type deal, skinny cow ice cream sandwiches, some more Halo Tops, some more Halo Top mini vanilla chocolate chip cookie ice cream sandwiches so this is a funeral of super delicious tasty desserts so the reason i'm doing this the reasons are pretty simple they trigger me if i'm counting calories why not just have food that has value why do i really need all the unhealthy sugar i'm trying to save my life i'm trying to have better health sometimes moderation doesn't work on Thanksgiving, did you eat the six meals that you ordered? So on Thanksgiving, I I wanted a Thanksgiving meal, I'm not gonna lie. And there was one restaurant open, they were only serving it for families of six, so it was like six portions. Absolutely not, I did not eat all of that. I ended up throwing away probably a good 70% of it because I was still trying my hardest to like stay on track. So I allowed myself to have one plate like around, I would say like lunchtime and then another plate for dinner. So no, I did not eat all of that. So. Y'all are about to be like, what? 
So this is just what I do. Now I'm just gonna eat the inside. <laughs> before anyone thinks I'm trolling I'm not I promise I'm uh taking off the meat and the lettuce Look at all this I did not eat. Like all the meat. <laughs> so I drastically lowered the calories on this. <laughs> For real. I should have had you guys closer. Like that. Oh my god. The regret is real. Oh. Well. So here's the before. Cause she rough. Okay. She has seen better days. Like, what is this? There's so many expired things happening right now that it's embarrassing. So, yeah, this might take me a couple days since I am doing it by myself. And my stamina isn't the highest because of my lipedema. So, the pantry is clean, as you can tell. But now, I have all of this. Oh. My. God. Uh -huh. overwhelming but you know it's fine and I do want to make point that for some reason these Weight Watcher mac and cheese potato sticks were stale so I didn't really eat any of those just a bag so there's actually a lot of things that has not been opened that I know we're not gonna eat so we can donate those to the homeless shelter which if you guys have canned goods box goods anything that's not expired open ruined Homeless shelter does want food. I looked it up. It said I can use acetone nail polish to soak it either to soak my fingers either in a glass or ceramic. So let's hope for the best. All right. There we go. Now, we wait. <laughs> I tried taking it off by myself, but that hurt a little bit. So, we'll just do this. <laughs> okay, I've probably been doing it for like a minute. I'm over it already. Ooh, that feels weird. All right. Nope, oh my God. <laughs> Why did I do this to myself? Y'all, I got one off. Oh my God. Come on. <laughs> oh. Oh. You guys don't even know. That feels so good. I'm so excited. Next hand. Next hand. Woo woo. Next hand. So I'm gonna make me some turkey bacon. For one slice is only 25 calories. I'm there for it. And then I'm gonna have, I think I'm gonna do two rice cakes. Per one is 70 calories. And then this is a creamy spicer, spicer. This is a creamy spicy pepper jack laughing cow cheese, which one of these is only 30 calories. These are honestly so, what? Oh my gosh. Are you sure you didn't? No, did you just open them? Yeah. You're lying. Like it was open kind of though. I'm scared. It wasn't me, I don't eat that. No, does someone in the store steal one? You guys, what would you do in my situation? Would you keep it? Oh no. I was looking forward to this. I do have another one. I don't trust it because people are going crazy at the stores. Oh, that just like really hurt my heart. I didn't notice this, but the freezer got unplugged. Um, I don't know how. 
and it's easy not to notice because the plug-in is actually behind our trash cans so it's not something that we look at it's never happened before um i went in there today which again it's a week after that clip and i was going to make me some meat so i was going to take it out and let it thaw and when i went to grab it it was like mush and i smell a really weird smell and i investigated and it turned out that everything in the freezer went bad and it happened really quickly and at first i thought it was broken but then i noticed that it was unplugged um <laughs> we had to throw away everything because it stunk so bad i don't even know how it could happen so quickly um so yeah now we have no frozen foods so i just ha had to tell you guys that it's it seems like, you know, this is just not my week at all. Thing. And I have to go to Walmart. It's super late at night. I'm talking like almost 1 a.m. Like, I'm not even kidding. Not even kidding. So, yeah, um, almost 1 a.m. But I have to go get some hash browns because there's a funny situation that happened. I usually am the one who puts away groceries. It's just like a thing. Like, when Becky and I go grocery shopping, I put away the groceries. But we went grocery shopping a couple days ago and... I don't know what happened, but I ended up carrying in all the groceries and she ended up putting them away, which usually it's the other way around. So I get these hash browns that are not meant to be frozen. They're supposed to be just refrigerated. So <laughs> since Becky put away my groceries, she didn't know that. And she put my hash browns in the freezer and I went to go have them today. And I was like searching the refrigerator. And I'm just like, where are my hash browns? Like, I don't understand what's happening. And then I thought for a second, I was like, she put them in the freezer and right on the back it says do not freeze in capital letters so i was like damn it so i had to throw them away i know a lot of people were, are probably thinking you could have still had them but i wasn't even gonna do that because it literally said in the back do not freeze so i'm just gonna go buy another bag it's only three dollars like who cares so these are the hash browns that i use and i like to put scrambled egg with it and onion it's so good Oh, whoops, I ran over Becky's toe. <laughs> you know what, I'm gonna try a little piece of this. I don't like it. <laughs> That's a no for me. Oh God, ew. Ew! I'm gonna... Ew! <sighs> I have to toss it. I can't. So, that did not go as expected. So, I'm about to go through all my protein bars because I don't touch them anymore. And I need to. I need to eat on them. But I know there's some in here that I've had for a while, so I'm gonna look at all the expiration dates. I just think it's about time. And I've had these straws for, my gosh, you guys were there when I vlogged this. Like, I feel like it's been like a year and a half. So I'm gonna go through all these bad boys, get rid of what is expired. Chocolate almond fudge, Cliff Bar. November 9th, 2018. Bad. Oh, that sucks. Peanut butter cream power crunch bar. Huh? This one's bad too. Rocky Road Quest Bar. That one's bad too. This is going to be bad. It's already a three for three for. I feel like a wretched, horrible person. Every single one of these were expired like what these were the only two that i can salvage this one goes bad in like a month and this one goes bad in like two i've never tried this one this is the almond bliss never had that one before i've never even tried the brand i don't think i might have tried a peanut butter one and then cliff bar peanut butter banana so i can save these I cannot believe this. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry because I know this is going to offend a lot of people and 
I'm just gonna straight up say, like, this is horrible. I get it. I know. I'm I'm honestly appalled. Still the horseshoes and bean bags and her.